Yo, what's going on guys? Koi here. Today, Dragon Ball Multi just dropped, dropped an absolute crazy announcement. This announcement is the fact that we're going to be getting a brand new game mode starting, uh, what do you call it? Well, at the UTC time. Let me just get the exact UTC time for you guys. Uh, freaking, it's right here. Uh, as you can see, the UTC time is going to be based off of your time zone. So I guess uh, the land grab rule, I guess I'll drop this down below and you guys could take a look at the countdown. Yeah. So I'll, I'll drop the countdown for you guys down below in the description so you guys can stay notified when it comes out in your country and we'll work off of that. So land grab, 4v4 battle, control three land areas and the first 500 points wins. The points are gained by holding onto the land. Staying within the land fills up the gauge and when this gauge reaches max, the, the land is captured. Stay inside the enemy's own land to damage their gauge instead. So, it is a capture the point uh, situation. Looks like there's going to be three points. Looks like the the, the game's going to last quite a long time. I mean, we're talking about probably a 10 to 15 minute game mode here. And they didn't even explain how the level up version works. So, we shall see. I'm not seeing anything crazy here, like no new like advantages or any type of like uh, things. Uh, this is, of course, just uh, little glimpses of it. Uh, as the battle progresses, Hoi Poi capsules will be appearing on the map. They contain items that can help you in the game. Keep an eye out for those items. Uh, these items are little Hoi Poi. Uh, if you guys do not know, they're just pretty much capsules. These capsules are holding on to looks like special robots and other stuff like that. And these robots are going to be able to help you through the tri trials and tribulations of defeating the other team. And I guess could give you a major advantage. Now, obviously, I think that the the time uh, is going down, I think. So it looks like it's a countdown timer, not a count up timer. My bad. Uh, I kind of got it backwards. So it looks like uh, maybe still about 10 minutes. I think still about 10 to 15 minutes. Even if it's a countdown to get like that many points within that small amount of time, you'd have to have full advantage on the other team and actually be able to push them to the max and actually be able to beat them. So very, very interesting. I, it looks like that Hoi Poi do count as a player as well. So they do count as defending the point. So even if they are being attacked, it would still require them to get, uh, you know, damaged a little bit. And if we zoom in just a little bit closer, uh, hang on. I got to go right over here, right over here, and we go a little deeper into this area right there. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it yet. I'll zoom in just a little bit more, and I'll just show you guys what I'm looking at here. There we go. Okay, so like right, right here. Uh, honestly, I could just take a screenshot, grab it real quick. There we go. And then just kind of like uh, drag that. Oh, try to paste it. No, uh, it's all right. So what that is is it is the equivalent of a, def uh, a defender and a uh, power up. So it looks like this one is weaker to key blasts. I don't know if there's going to be different bots that require you to have different types of defenses. And if that is the case, then that is pretty cool. But it looks like this one is actually stronger against characters that use key blasts and stuff like that, which is very, very cool. So I'm guessing there's going to be one that's actually better at defending against strength type dudes. And there might be a strategic value to actually using that specific one, depending on what the enemy team is already running. So that is very, very cool, in my opinion. Uh, like I said, the, the game mode does drop tomorrow. So, or tomorrow for me, later for you guys, uh, pretty much in the equivalent of the 16 hour wait period. And from this point on, uh, yeah. Uh, do, do I think that there's going to be anything that's going to be out of the ordinary with this? Oh, wait, actually, let's take a look at this. So it looks like there's Hoi Poi over here near the spawn of your section. I don't know if that means they're going to be blocking off the enemy section so people can't damage their Hoi Poi or mess up their Hoi Poi grind. But it looks like Hoi Poi do spawn around the map. Let's see if they show another example of this in the other screenshot. No, 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 no. Uh, what about over here? It does show no Hoi Poi there, but it shows four here. So it looks like it's a four corners Hoi Poi. 
and these hoi poi, you're going to be able to get them from the four corners of the map. Very, very cool. Um, so that's very, very nice. So it looks like hmm, hard to say. They don't show enough to where it's like, okay, maybe, maybe freaking if you defeat the, you have to defeat the hoi poi to level up or the opposite. Maybe uh, you don't get leveling up. You don't level up from hoi poi, but you might level up from defeating other players. Uh, this is going to make the combat just a little harder because it's it's pretty clear that this character is not starting off from like any specific level. I would say that it would, if they were going to do this, it would be like specifically starting off at level eight and then moving on from there. Uh, hard to say, though, because it looks like they're both level four. So the, level four might be the starting level. But if we get Hoi Poi off rip, then that might mean that there might be upgraded versions of Hoi Poi throughout the map's progression, which would be pretty, pretty sick. Uh, like I said, uh, there might be Hoi Poi, such as the Defender Hoi Poi, and then, an, uh, how do you say, the, probably a uh, Brawler Hoi Poi, and then I'm guessing there's got to be like a bigger one. There's got to be like one big Hoi Poi. Yeah, see, this one starts off, it could be five minute matches, but that sounds like rather crazy. I don't know, because, like, it could be five minutes, it could be ten minutes. In my opinion, it could be, like, ten to five minutes. Uh, did we get any of this news in-game by chance? I have no clue. Let me just uh, mess with this just for a little bit. Uh, I don't know if we got any in-game information about this. But I will open up the game just to double-check, because I would like to always be on top of this. Maybe they already showed a little more information in-game. That'll be very, very interesting. Uh, one second. Opening the game now. Uh, I'm very excited for this game mode, though. I cannot wait. Uh, it's definitely going to bring uh, fresh air to the uh, game. I cannot wait to see what actually, what little gimmicks they have attached to the game in general. All right. Let's see. All right. Here we go. One sec. I will share my side of the screen if there's anything. If there's nothing, then... Oh, there's downloading data. If there's nothing that they show here, so to speak, then we probably won't even, like, discuss the next part. And I'll probably just end the video. Oh, wait. Okay, so they do talk about the special summon... Oh, this is another thing they were talking about. One sec. Switching us over. Okay. So... Special summon maintenance scheduled. It starts uh, right before the actual game mode actually comes out. This is obviously going to be setting up the game mode. And then over here, land grab. Oh, this is a new rule. So we have requirements. So you must be a D4 roll rank in any role. So you have to be D4 roll rank. And select the land grab sub rule. Okay. So, if you guys are not D4s yet, I suggest actually grinding out your levels. Me, personally speaking, I've already been a D4. I'm already on D2 on some of my characters. And, you know, freaking, so I'm going to be able to play off rip. And I'm, I'm going to be able to enjoy the game mode. Uh, if you guys do not know how the ranks work, the ranks work from E to D to C to A uh, to B to A. So, yeah, as you can see, it goes all the way to SS and SSS. But everyone just plays damage more than anything. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Wow, I'm, I'm still kind of up there. All right. Am I up here in any of these? Oh, yeah, I'm up here in technical. Because no one plays technical like I do. All right. Very, very cool. Am I, am I like, really high level on any of these heroes? Like, is my ranking any good? Uh, Krillin? No data. Two main rules battles. As I have... Android 18, Boo, Zamasu. I don't have any of these characters unlocked. Okay. It's okay. All right. I'm rambling. Okay. So I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow. Very, very cool update. I cannot wait to see them expand upon it. This is going to be a very, very interesting update. Uh, I'm, I need gold. I need gold so bad. They just need to give us gold. <laughs> and I think that also comes with the brand new... Uh, 
things they're going to also be releasing at that time. So everyone's going to be able to get level 2 characters. Yay! All right, dudes, take it easy. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below. Stay notified on all future games. See you guys later. Peace!